good morning HVAC bros out there. Today I will be heading down into the great nothingness and the great abyss down there to rip out some duck work. Because like I always say guys, there ain't nothing better than HVAC duck work. Well I just removed some of the flex off of the old plenum here. Kind of checking things out on the inside. It's uh, a little dirty, but we cleaned it up. Units being reused and looks like somebody's been doing a little thieving. That is not the Navac tubing cutters work right there. I took the P-traps, that's plural, there's two of them here, and took them off and look how blocked up that is. You know, because this is in the crawl space, it's been blocked up for a while. Dear me. Good grief. There's a lot of stuff in there. We'll have to investigate a little forensic HVAC here. Guys, I picked up my... Uh branch off into the Milwaukee realm here. It's the M12 stuff. Thought it'd be perfect for this sort of thing. And uh, I'm gonna give them a shot and try to expand my brand categories. I removed all of the flexible ducts, all the branch runs that go everywhere. For the most part, I think I got them all, yeah. Got them all. And I just have the air handler itself. I might just drag it out as one big long piece and cut these trunks off because they're mastic. Oh, pretty good. I had to remove the electrical up here, the little black wire you see running into the top of the air handler. Someone has nicely severed the wire that went outside when they stole the copper. And I just got to cut the other wire and roll it back up there and store it for later. And to get this thing out of here, then I'll just be, I guess I'll be done. I have the air handler opened up here and I'm just kind of looking around. This air handler is supposed to be reused. This one, I don't know, this has had water sitting in it and stuff. So this is one of them things where I, you know, guys, I'm not a great salesman, but I do have to mention the fact that this thing looks like it's been through the mill and uh, it is questionable for the future. How's that? That's uh, vague enough. This is all our debris from under the house. A lot of flex duct straps. Having it be all flex duct makes it a lot easier than having to disconnect a bunch of hard pipe. So that was a lot better. All of these are bath fans and the dryer vent. A little bit of plumbing. Then we have our plenums over here, and you can see. Probably take a picture of this. It's nice to have a picture of stuff so you can see what size everything was. Or you can measure them out and write them down. That's why I left the boots on the floor so I can come back and see uh, what size the round was going to the boots. But it looks like a couple of 14 inch returns. Yep, that's everything out of there. There's our air handler, the dirty bird. And I'm going to go see if he wants me to cut off some of these plumbing pipes and stuff because they're moving this house. But I think the issue is a lot of the plumbing is still connected. And the guy's supposed to be showing up tomorrow to get started with the house moving. And a lot of the electrical wires are still connected, like the pump wire and the wire to the disconnect for the heat pumps. So I'm going to do him a solid and see if I can't disconnect those for him in exchange for money. Uh-oh, guys, it looked like ne'er-do-wells have been here and stolen copper because only ne'er-do-wells use this type of tubing cutter right here. 